Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with the final update to the Miami Vice Ferrari Daytona Spider. I hope you're all having a good 2019 so far. The last long weekend of 2018, I spent wrapping up as many projects as I could, including this. In the last video that I posted about this kit, uh, I think I had just painted the body, so none of the details were on it. And uh, taking a look at what I did, starting at the front here, I got a set of headlights off of Ravel's Monte Carlo SS to represent the square headlights that were on the TV car. So I figured that uh, there were some obvious custom touches. Uh, didn't want to go full kit car with this, but I did want to make it unique so that it really looked like Sonny Crockett's car. And the headlights were one of the big giveaways. Uh, the front bumpers on this kit are actually one of the biggest frustrations that I had because they're actually only mounted right there where they meet the grill. Uh, that end just floats. So trying to get everything lined up that direction and that direction uh, really was not intuitive nor were there any really good locators on it so that was kind of a pain right there uh, let's see got custom mirrors out of my parts box not exactly sure what these are off of uh, they might be from a Porsche 928 not 100% on that one though Got chrome door handles out of the parts box. And uh, yeah, the rear axle was actually another point of frustration because although that went together perfectly fine, when I mounted the body, the wheels were too far forward in this kit. And I've looked around some, and that seems to be a recurring problem for all the builds of this. So uh, I what I did was I relieved just a little bit off of the uprights and slid them back on the A-arms. Uh, that was the only way I could think to move the wheels back where they needed to be. I got the marker lights out of my parts box. The tonneau cover is off of the Ravel Miami Vice kit. Got a custom license plate that I printed out myself. And uh, the Ferrari badge there is out of a set that I got off of eBay. Uh, one of those chrome printed detail sets. And to me, these look better than either photo etch or decal. So I try to use those whenever I'm trying to recreate classic chrome scripting. Tailpipes are straight out the kit. Uh, took a little bit to get them so that they looked the way that I wanted to as far as the line goes but they came out pretty good and so yeah overall uh, I'm pretty happy with how this build turned out for as excellent as the engine and chassis went together the body was a surprising pain in the butt to try to get mounted and straight and get all the little details where they belonged. Is uh, Fujimi really did not do a great job with locators or with certain things, like I said, like that rear axle. Uh, that was a bit frustrating, but in the end, uh, I think it turned out okay. So, there's that. And another project that I was working on and finished up was... This one here, this is the 48 Ford from the original Karate Kid movie. And this is the Ravel kit. Uh, it was just reissued recently in grease trim as the white lightning from that movie. Uh, and this is actually a really nice kit. Uh, I've been very happy with the overall fit and finish. Uh, the level of detail in it is really nice does have 
nicely detailed engine in there with all sorts of separate components including radiator hoses all four of them separate oil filter separate carburetor separate air cleaner it's actually got all of the steering nice looking wheels and tires pretty good interior it, it, it's a nice kit uh, if you haven't picked up one of the grease kits and are considering it I think it's definitely worthwhile it's a kit that does require some patience just with the sheer number of parts but it looks good and it goes together without too much hassle uh, Kind of a nice detail all this chrome is separate separate door handles separate trunk latch separate tail lights with tail light bezels the stone shields are separate pieces there's a lot of extra detail stuff uh, if you'd like i do have one of the white lightning kits and can do a full review on how this goes together and what's included in the kit so uh, if you think you'd be interested in that just leave a note down in the comments below and I'll see about putting something together on that and then the last thing is got this done the little mule aka Pepe from Romancing the Stone and this actually is not 100% finished. I still need to add the little kicking mule hood ornament. But uh, I was looking around to see if there was anything in model railroading or otherwise that would provide a good base. And I just haven't been able to find anything, so I'm going to have to carve that. But that's going to be a day's worth of work at least, so i got to be in the right mood for it. And until that happens, I'm going to call this one good to go. Uh, but this is the Monogram Bronco kit. I believe it's an 80 Bronco. And you got some aftermarket wheels that I got off of eBay. Painted those chrome, gold, and silver, including the two mounted spare tires here in the back. The two fuel cans, one of them is what came in the kit and the other one came in Ravel's recent GMC snowplow kit uh, they're almost identical uh, very very slight differences certainly close enough that for my purposes here they work perfectly fine for that uh, filled in where the rear bumper is so I could put the Goodyear decal on that the little mules are from a slicks decal set Move the side view mirrors up here, uh, scratch built roll bar, side pipes I think are out of the AMT Camaro, 68 Camaro I believe it is, uh, revise the push bar from what came in the Bronco kit, add the lights to that, and these are the kit side view mirrors but the frames that they're sitting on are scratch built out of aluminum because they were mounted way up on the front fender uh, completely useless but that, that's where they were in the movie truck and the winch is also out of this kit I just modified it to bring the hook out past the bottom of the push bar how's that so this was the end of my 2018 builds uh, I am going to be starting a new theme for 2019 because I really liked the 84 theme that I was doing last year that kind of kept my work focused and kind of helped rein in my buying in that I knew of, well, if I'm not working on a project related to 1984, I won't be able to get to it for at least a year. So that, that was actually really helpful for both my buying and my building. So for 2019, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the theme of books and comics. And 
Part of that is because I've got a lot of Batmobiles on the shelf that need to be done. Uh, so I'm going to be working on some of those. Some are projects that I've started and never got finished. Uh, some of them are ideas that I've had. Uh, I'm also going to be including novels, posters, uh, basically anything that's not live action or animated. Let me know if you want to see a closer look at the Revell White Lightning. And uh, otherwise, I will be starting a new project next week. Thanks for watching.